Yes guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you a free app which lets you take your photos from looking like this to this. So this video is great for any sellers. If you sell on eBay, if you sell on Vinted, if you sell on Depop, this video is for you. Now the good thing about this app is that it's completely free. All you have to do is download it, open it and you get started straight away. That app's called Photoshop Mix. I've come across so many apps and this has to be one of the best ones I've ever come across. So this is great for those doing Depop on a budget. You do not need expensive equipment. You don't need a ring light, you don't need an expensive camera and you don't need softbox lights. All you need is a flat surface, your phone, the app and light from your window. So the way this is gonna work, you're gonna wanna get your product laid down on the ground. We're gonna take a flat lay. Obviously you've got your different styles of photos. You've got your hanger shots, your modeled shots and then you've got your flat lay shots. We're gonna be doing flat lay, which is laid flat. Self-explanatory. So what I'm gonna do now is go into the other room, pick a product at random. I'm gonna bring it in here, lay it down on the ground and we'll take some photos. Let's get into it. <laughs> Right, so this is the one I picked. It's on a lead tag. It says Martinsville State passing champions. It's Alabama, American football one. Don't know if it's NFL or just a college league, but yeah, quite cool. Got a nice print down the side. So what we're gonna do now is lay it out on the ground. We're gonna take our pictures. Then we'll get into the app and we'll start editing and I'll show you guys how to edit. So I've just finished taking the free photos. They look quite nice, as you can tell. But the only problem is it's not a solid background. You can tell with the white background, there's creases and there's dirt and there's dust. We want to get rid of all that. And we want to make our background look professional. So now what we're going to do, get our phones out, go onto the app and we'll start. Right, so I've got my phone out. Before we head into the app, what I want you to do is go onto Google and you're going to type in the colour background you want. So if I want a pink background, I'm going to type in pink square background because obviously the dimensions for a Depop photo is square. So we want a square photo for the square background. So yeah, so I'm going to type in pink pastel square. I'm going to go onto images and I'm just going to randomly select, I don't know, uh, this one. So yeah, we're going to save that to our camera roll and then we are going to head into the app. Okay, so now we've loaded up the app, what we're going to do is tap plus image and all our photos are going to come up and we're going to tap the image we want to edit. So I'm just going to tap the front image. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to click for plus again, image, and this time we're going to select our background. So we'll select our background and it's going to come up. Now we're going to stretch it out by pinching like this, pinching the screen and stretching it out to fit. So now the problem is that it's in front of our image. So what we want to do is we want to hold down on the uh, layer here on the side and we want to bring it down below our item. And what that's going to do is put the background behind our item. So what we're going to do now is select our item just by clicking on it. We're going to click cut out at the bottom and then we're going to select smart and then subtract up here. So now what we can do is we can start drawing around it and it's going to snap onto the item. So it will snap to the sides of the item just because of the colours because they differentiate. So we've got a red item and a white background. It's going to be easier to, you know, separate. So we're just going to draw around it like so and then we're going to click the tick at the bottom right. And as you can see, we've already got a decent background. So at this point, if you guys aren't too fussed about the edges, you can save it and that's that. But I'm going to go into a bit more detail. As you can see, the edges are a bit rough and obviously still some of the original background is around the item. So we want to get rid of that. So what we're going to do is we're going to tap on the item again, cut out. This time we're going to select basic. Now we're going to move the hardness up. Let's move it up to 80. And then what we're going to do is click a razor and we're just going to draw like this. And it's going to, as you can tell, I've already drew on that. And if I press the tick, it's gone. So what I'm going to do now is draw around the entire item and I'll get back to you once I've done that. So I think that'll do for now. So now what I can do with this, I can resize it like so. I'm gonna centralize it just using the lines because it snaps into the lines. Let me make that a tiny bit smaller. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is show you an alternative to a lint roller. Obviously you use a lint roller to get the fluff off and the dirt off in real life. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to fill and then we're gonna select that and we're gonna look for a piece of dirt on the item. So I can't find any because this item's in really good condition. So I'm just gonna use a bleach mark as the example. Now, before we get into this, don't use this for stains or any marks. Just use it for dust and dirt only because you don't want to mislead your customer. So yeah, I'm gonna zoom into this bleach mark here. And what we do is just draw around it like so. 
and as you can see it's selected. Now I'm going to press the tick in the bottom right corner and it's got rid of that bleach mark as you can tell. So if I go back and forward you can tell it gets rid of any dust really really easily. Now like I said don't get rid of stains with this because it's just going to leave you in the dirt and you're going to get a bad review for misleading a customer about the condition of your product. So yeah I've saved it to my camera roll, I'm going to do the rest of them and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Right so I'm back, I've finished editing my photos and they've actually turned out really nice. I'll put the three original ones across the top now and I'll put the three new ones across the bottom and obviously you can tell there's a big difference. The bottom ones look so much nicer. Right, so I'm gonna run through the pros and cons of this app just so you can get a general idea of what's good and what's bad. To be fair, there isn't many bad things about this app. So the first good thing about this app is that it makes your item images look like you have a real professional shop on Depop. The items stand out, they look a lot more appealing to the customers and you're more likely to get a sale. The next good thing is that you can literally go onto Google and get any background you want for your items. Like you can search, it doesn't even need to be a solid background. It can be a pattern, it can be stripes, it can be spots. I don't know, it can be a Amazon rainforest behind it or something. That was a bit random. But yeah, you can literally get any background you want to give your shop its own unique look. It doesn't always have to be a solid background. I don't know, it can be anything. Like, there's endless ideas. The next good thing is that you can go into extra detail to make your item look a bit smoother. So you can go around the edges of your item to make it look smoother. You can remove dirt and dust on the item. Like I said, please do not remove stains. Please do not remove marks. And don't remove bobbling either because your customer wants to know what the item looks like. And if you're removing stains and it gets to them and they see the stain, they're just gonna leave you a really shit review. And finally, another good thing about this app, which isn't too major, is that, do you know how on free apps you normally get so many ads popping up like every 10 seconds? On this app, you literally get barely any ads. You get one ad every like two or three minutes. Now there's only one bad thing that I could pick out about this app, and that is that it's really, really time consuming. Obviously, if you're selling stuff out your cupboard to make a little bit of extra money or processing a tiny amount of stock as a new seller, then it's not that bad because you're not editing that many items. But if you're a big seller or you're growing as a seller and you're getting more stock, as for me, I'm getting quite a lot of stock in at the moment. I'm getting about 400, 500 items a month now. It's just, it's just not possible for me to do all of those items. Like honestly, it would really take me too long to do all of this. It just wouldn't be possible and I wouldn't be selling stuff quick enough. And also I'd have a massive backlog of items that I need to edit and list and post. And it would just be so stressful and boring. Which leads me on to my next point, that next week I'm gonna be doing a video about a paid app, which is literally less than five pound a month, which removes the background in less than four seconds. And it's amazing, it's definitely worth it. So yeah, this video was for people on a budget. I used this app for so long, and I even sometimes use it today. In fact, I only got this new app the other week, which I pay for. So I was using Photoshop Mix up until last week. I've been doing Depop for about seven months now. So yeah, keep an eye out for next week's video. I'll let you decide whether this app is better or the app I talk about next week. And yeah, you can decide which app is best for your photo editing, whether it's the free one, which takes slightly longer, or whether it's the paid one, which is extremely fast and extremely impressive. So yeah, thank you for watching. Subscribe if you're new. Like if you enjoyed the video. I hope this helped you out, and I'll see you in next week's video.